Izzy invites a total stranger to sleep at her house, but ends the night disappointed. I can relate. The episode starts with Izzy chasing down Sparky, who bullies my favorite background character. Again! Give this man a break! They run into Misty, and just as I suspected, she's black. Wait, no, please don't cancel me. She does draw on a fake cutie mark. Dang, girl, that's some serious body dysmorphia. As Izzy is coercing her to come to a sleepover, <gasps> Sparky growls at her. Not a good look, dragon boy. Misty lied about being from Bridalwood, so Izzy and the gang prepare for a traditional unicorn sleepover. I guess part of the tradition is making everyone else do the work. Misty shows up and instantly makes up the coolest last name I've ever heard. Brighton! Welcome, Misty Brighton! Zip is suspicious of their house guest and questions her at every turn. Wouldn't it be wise to not let the suspect know they are under scrutiny, so they act freely? They read each other's fortune through tea leaves and palms. Well, hooves. And I'm certain some little girl is no longer allowed to watch My Little Pony, because Mom saw witchcraft. The writers reference Notting Hill for all the moms in their 40s who weren't scared away by fortune telling. Just see, Salty? I'm, I'm just a unicorn, unicorn standing, standing in front of another unicorn, unicorn asking, asking him to share with her. <laughs> so romantic. Then, Izzy normalizes more Wiccan stuff by licking all over this crystal. They make some chocolate pony corn, which by the way, like dogs, chocolate is toxic to horses. Did you Google it? It's story time. Sunny tells the story of the magic crystals. Ponies start fighting. Twilight stores the magic in crystals. Everyone breaks up. Misty objects and tells the story Opaline taught her, saying that a great alicorn once had all the power before Twilight took it out of jealousy. The truth is probably somewhere in the middle but neither of these ponies fact check. They somehow don't connect the dots to what Hologram Twilight said. Once a pony tried to steal all the magic in Equestria for herself and almost succeeded. I did all that. But Zip presses her and Misty panics, runs, and has a mental breakdown in the courtyard. Izzy is super bummed and homesick. Her friends decorate her space like Bridalwood just to make their friend feel better while the My Little Pony theme plays. It's actually very sweet and the first time ponies hit the mark for me in Make Your Mark. Misty comes back with a flimsy story but is welcome with open hooves. <laughs> oh, I'm just so glad you're back. I hope you know how welcome you are here. Look. This episode is hitting me. What is going on? I think I'm lonely. And honestly, Misty, how have you not switched sides? I guess her mommy issues are strong. The episode ends with Zip overhearing the tail end of Misty's conversation with Opaline. Moral of the story? Don't eat chocolate, you stupid horses. You're gonna die. Hey, stop. Fuck, stop. Dad, 